this review of the very first episode of New Who, Doctor Who, Rose. So I want to kick off with asking the question, do you remember the first time you watched the very first episode? I watched it on its original transmission in my family home with my parents amongst the other 10.81 million. <laughs> it took 44.84% of the audience share that night. And I always remember Graham Norton had introduced it, but his microphone had been left on and his voiceover continued throughout the opening credits. But then they realized just in time before any dialogue began. And that is a memory that has just stuck with me. So Rose Tyler, she's an ordinary shop girl who happens to just get caught up in an alien invasion by plastic mannequins when a stranger called the Doctor happens just to be passing by. The villains in this episode are called Altons and even though the episode is 13 years old, my God, this episode is 13 years old, it, kind of can be seen as having this accidental social commentary of plastic taking over the world. I just found it very fitting watching it again. And I'm sure they weren't thinking about that 13 years ago. So I just find it really interesting how accidental the social commentary is. Plus, we've seen the autumns before in Classic Who. So I don't think there was much thought into it. They were just like, what could we do? Oh, I know we could easily do plastic mannequins moving, but how interesting is that? That you can look at it as a way of saying, look, plastic is taking over the world now. And this is a great introduction to New Who. We meet Rose, a teenager that younger audiences can relate to. And then we've got a mum and we've got a boyfriend, Mickey. And we see the Doctor through Rose's eyes. This Doctor is certainly more accessible than some of the classic Who Doctors, as his costume has certainly just a modern look. You know, it's a black leather jacket. He comes across as someone that you could just pop down to the pub with. There's nothing eccentric about it. He's just that guy in the leather jacket. I knew Christopher Eccleston from many period dramas, you know, the, the drama, drama, acting, uh, before he was cast in Doctor Who. And so I considered him quite a serious actor. I'd never seen him in anything so light. And what a delight it was. He was just so much fun, just playing eccentric, and he even was sporting his own native accent. You know, the fact that they even play on that, and the fact that this episode has him stating, Lots of planets have a north. Russell T. Davis introduced new viewers to a much loved show, which meant the generation of classic who could enjoy just television together for just an hour of the night. You've got the parents that were children when they watched classic who, now watching it with their kids, and those kids could relate to it. And it was just wonderful to be able to sit down with the family and watch Doctor Who for an hour and just switch off. That's that's how I felt about it when New Who started. And it's incredibly rewatchable. I felt like I wanted to feel 17 again recently and Doctor Who is the absolute perfect source for that. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Do hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future Doctor Who reviews. Please do like the video and leave a comment in the box below with your thoughts and feelings on this episode. What did you think of Rose when it first aired? And don't forget to answer that question I asked in the beginning of the video.